Today's topic is interpolation. Using Newton's backward interpolation formula, I am going to calculate today's problem. So from the following table, so here the table is given and the values of f of x are also given. So x values are given and f of x values are given. So the x values are 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So we have to compute the value of x at 0 0.63. So, in between these two, so we have to find the value. So, these are the last values and so I am using Newton's backward interpolation formula for this. So, for this using Newton's backward interpolation formula in order to compute 0 0.63, so we have to make a differ backward difference table. So, usually I used to draw forward difference table and here I am using backward difference table and it is represented by delta. So, this is the first difference, del square second difference, del cube third difference and del power four. This is fourth difference. This is also same as forward difference table. So, we have to subtract from lower one minus upper one. So, as usual, so I am doing this one that is 0 0.6554 minus 0. Point, this is 6179. The value here is 0. Point, see here 0. 0.0. 375 and the next one here I have to subtract from 0 0.6915 minus 0 0.6554 the value here is this is 0 0.0361 and the next one here that is 0 0.7257 0 0.7257 minus 0 point that is 6915 the value here is 0 0.0342 and the next one I have to subtract from 0 0.7580 so this is 0 0.7580 minus 0 point this is a 7257 the value here is 0 0.0 this is 323 and the next difference table here is, I'll show, this is the next difference table. So, we have to subtract from 0 0.0361. So, this is 0 0.0361 minus, this is 0 0.0375. The value here is, so this can be written as minus 0 0.00. This is 14. The value should be written. So, here it is third. So, in third place we have to write 1 and 4. And the next one here is 0 0.0342 minus 0 0.0361. So, this is nothing but minus 0 0.0019. And the next one I have to subtract from 0 0.0323 minus 0 0.0342. The value here is again minus 0 0.0019. So, here the fourth third third difference so this value will be minus 0 0.0019 minus of minus so this value will be plus 0 0.0014 the value here is minus 0 0.0005 0, 0, 0, 0.005 and this value is obviously 0 and this value 0 minus of minus this value is 0 0.0005 so these are all the values so, it's very easy. So, for Newton forward, I have taken all the front values and now I am selecting all the backward values. So, this will be Y0, this will be delta Y0. Sorry, this is uh, Yn. So, this is delta Yn. So, this is delta square Yn, delta cube Yn, delta power 4 Yn. So, these are all the values which I have to select. And this value will be Xn. So, initially I have selected this one as x0 and uh, for backward we have to select all the backward values and now we have a formula ready here that that is x is equal to this is xn plus p into h. So, what is the x value needed? x value is nothing but 0 0.63. So, we got x value as 0 0.63. So, xn value is the last value here. See, this is a 0 0.70. So, this value is nothing but 0 0.70. So, this is uh, 0 0.70. And P, so P is the difference between these two. That is a 0 0.10. 1, 0. Now, if I substitute all the values here. So, X is equal to 0 0.63 
this is 0 0.70 and this value p is equal to 0 0.10 into h so h is this one and this value will be p so i need the value of p so this will be 0 0.63 minus 0 0.70 divided by 0 0.10 so here if you see if you see here this is a 0 0.63 minus a 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.10 the value here is minus 0 0.7 so this value is minus 0 0.7 so we got the value of p as minus 0 0.7 so after getting the p value so we have to go with newton's backward interpolation formula so I, i'll introduce this one that is what is this Newton's backward interpolation formula? According to the Newton's backward interpolation formula, the formula is so easy that anybody can understand. So here, y n value. So this is the backward value. So if I take this as y p, so this will be y n plus p into this is uh, delta y n, and here this will be p into p plus one into this one is 2 factorial into delta square y n plus this is p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 by 3 factorial into delta cube by n plus this is p into this is p plus 1 into p plus 2 into this is p plus 3 by 4 factorial into this value will be delta power 4 y n and so on and so on. So this is the value, uh, this is the formula according to the Newton's backward interpolation formula. Please remember, so I am taking the last values, this is yn. So in Newton's forward formula, it will be y0. So this is de uh, delta y0, delta square y0. Here it is, the backward it is represented by del and the last value here is yn. So yn plus p into delta yn p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial into delta square y n and p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 by 3 factorial here also p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 into p plus 3 by 4 factorial into del power 4 into y n so in this formula i have to substitute all the values so here what is our p value so p value is nothing but minus 0 0.7 so after writing the p value as minus 0 0.7 so we have to substitute all the backward values as i have shown here so these are the values which are needed so if it's yn so this will be y if it's xn so this will be yn so this will be delta yn so this will be del square yn so this value will be del cube yn so this value will be del power 4 y n so i now i am going to substitute all these values so y p value is equal to what is y n so y n is nothing but 0 point this is 7580 7580 and the next one p value so what is our p value so p value is nothing but minus 0 0.7 into the delta so the delta y n value is nothing but so this is 0 0.03 Two, three and the next value here is p into p plus 1 so what is p this is 0 0.7 this is 0 0.7 plus 1 by 2 factorial into the second value the del, del square value i have to substitute here as minus 0 0.0019 and the next value here is 0 so even then i am substituting here so this will be p into so this value is p into this is p plus 1 this is p plus 2 by 3 factorial into the delta cube the next value here is 0 so i have substituted 0 here and the next one here is p into this is p plus 1 this is p plus 2 into this is p plus 3 by 4 factorial into the next one the next value after 0 this is delta power 4 y n that is 0 0.000 this is 0 0.0005 05 so now this is the value 
so i'm writing here so y p value is equal to 0 0.7580 and this can place into minus this is minus this is 0 0.7 into this is 0 0.0 three two three and here if you observe this one so this is minus zero point seven this is minus zero point seven plus one so this will be plus zero point three by two into this is minus zero point zero zero one nine and the next one this value is zero i'm writing simply here as zero zero into anything is zero and the next one this will be minus zero point seven this is plus zero point three this is 1.3 so this is again this value is 2.3 by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 so this value is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into the value here is 0 0.0005 now yp value is equal to 0 0.7580 minus so if i calculate this one this will be 0 0.7 into 0, 0.0 this is 323 the value here is 0. 0.02261 and the next one here is minus into minus this value is plus this is 0. 0.7 into 0. 0.3 into 0. 0.0019 divided by 2 and here also this is negative sign so plus into minus will be minus this value is 0 0.7 into 0 0.3 into 0 1.3 this is 2.3 and again this value is 0 0.0005 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 so this value is 24 now so this value will be 0 0.7580 minus 0 0.0 2 to 1 and see here this value I am going to show you this is 0 0.7 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.0019 divided by 2 the value here is this value is plus 0 0.000 in the fourth position I have to write here that is 1995 and the next the next value here will be so, so here this value I am calculating here that is 0 0.7 into 0 0.3 into this is 1.3 into 2.3 into 2.3 into this is 0 0.0005 divided by this value will be 24. The value here is, I'll show you, this is minus 0 0.0000, this is 1308125 that is uh, 1 2 5 so now so the final answer will be see here the first value is 0 0.7580 minus so this value is 0 0.02261 plus this value is 0 0.0001995 minus 0 0.4 zeros this is 130812. The value here is 0 0.55. So the YP value is 0 0.735576. This is 418. This is 418. So this is the final value. So when Y is equal to C here, what is the value asked here? When X is equal to 0 0.63 we got the y value as so that is when x is equal to 0 0.63 we got the value as 0 0.73557 so this is how we have to solve so let me explain you once again so this will be the table and uh, these are the last values and so i am using newton's backward interpolation formula for the newton backward interpolation formula so we have to make a backward difference table so for backward difference table it is represented by del so here this is uh, the difference table so as usual as uh, the forward difference table we have to subtract from lower one minus upper one and like that after filling so we have to take all the backward values here so this value is xn so as usual the formula here is x is equal to xn plus p into h so x value is nothing but 0 0.63 
and xl value is the last value 0 0.70 and the h it is the difference between this interval that is 0 0.10 so the p value we got as minus 0 0.7 so after getting the p value so this will be the backward difference table so formally so what is the backward difference formula here is yp is equal to yn plus p into delta yn p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial into delta square yn p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 by 3 factorial into delta cube yn p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 into p plus 3 by 4 factorial into delta power 4 into yn so p is obviously when I, uh, we calculated as minus 0 0.7 and all the last values I have selected here so this is 0 0.70 so this is xn so the y n value is nothing but 0 0.7580 and the next value so you see my substitution here so this is 0 0.7580 see i'll show you this is 0 0.7580 this is 0 0.0323 and the next value here is 0 0.0019 and uh, the next value here is 0 i have substituted 0 here and the next value here is 0 0.0005 so these are all the values i have taken and this is nothing but uh, p so this is p this is p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial this is p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 by 3 factorial this is p into p plus 1 into p plus 2 into p plus 3 by 4 factorial so after simplifying and calculating using calci i got the final answer as 0 0.73557 and this is how we have to do and if you practice definitely you can solve please share it with your friends leave a comment below and thank you and uh, have a look at my next video too it will be very very useful thank you so much